God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Glenda Coker here. Spirit your name, Gloria. Thank you for tuning, tuning in. I am your sister. I am your sister. I am also a prayer intercessor prophesying and doing the works of the Lord. Prophesying and ministering the works of the Lord. I want to thank you all for tuning in again i really 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 appreciate every every one of you every one of you um i am led by the holy spirit to do um the shows that i do um i started out once a week and then i started out on a tuesday replay and i am here i am here this show is here on a tuesday and um, I'm just going, going with the flow. The show is not a replay. The show is not a repeat. Um, but I am here on Tuesday. And um, this show is like none other. We are led by the Holy Spirit. And we just go with the flow. Um, Thursday is my uh, main day. Um, but now I am here Tuesday and Thursday. And sometimes I come on throughout the week um i'm on um a lot of uh different platforms um um stemming from one main one um but um also on single plat a single platform um as well not stemming from the one um spreaker that i'm on i'm also on um um blog talk radio um as well from time to time uh, so just Google me, Glenda Coker, G-L-E-N-D-A-C-O-K-E-R, and uh, follow me on social media. My social media sites haven't been on Facebook in a while. Um, I usually am on Twitter from time to time. I retreat, I retweet, <laughs> I retweet and things like that, and um, the shows come on there um, automatically um, through my broadcast, um, but this is Internet, Internet Radio, and the shows here, um, as of now, do not stay up for very, very long. So if you want to keep the shows, if you want to um, play them back at your leisure, feel free to go ahead and download them on whatever device um, you're listening that you're using, whatever device that you're using, so that you will have the shows with you always um but here on the show here they do not stay up um a certain time they just automatically they just well they just go off um so i encourage you to just download those shows um as as well the ones that you want to keep the ones that you want to listen to um a little little bit later um rss the site um so that you will have them as well as long as they are um um on you know going there on the internet radio so i encourage you to do that as well um but just a little note if you download then you know you'll always have them um to listen back um listen back to so um we were talking about the holy spirit for a while a wonderful while a wonderful while um I also talked about um, the kingdom that was not of God. I talked about the marine kingdom, um, the things of Satan and the demons and things like that and what's going on in their kingdom. <laughs> so I talked about that and um, I am going to talk about um, um, just different events, different stories in the Bible and we're going to talk about them. Uh, right now, I'm going to talk about the lady with the alab alabaster box. And that was in, uh, get your Bibles ready or write down, write, them, write this scripture down. Um, and go back and refer to it later. Um, or listen in or follow along with me if you have your Bible um, with you. Um, I'm going to be reading, well, I'm going to let the narrator read Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 26, 
And we're going to be discussing and reading verses 1 through 13. So uh, when the reader gets to after 13, then I'll cut it off and we will discuss a little bit about um, what happened here. And this is Jesus talking um, to his disciples. Um, He's at dinner um, at the table. Um, and so he's talking to them about the Passover is going to come up and things like that, that the Passover is coming. So he is, he is talking, um, to his disciples. Um, so right now, uh, we're going to get off into that. And then afterwards, I'm going to read you. Um, I told you I'm into poetry. For those of you who've been listening to me, I, I am into poetry. And so I have taken a lot of stories in the Bible and I have written um, a poem about them. So after I, I do this and we read and discuss, then I will um, read the poem to you that um, I've written myself. And... Um, it's just such a beautiful thing, and I don't know, later on I may do a book and put all my poems in it. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but um, I have a lot, a lot of poems, a lot of biblical poems that um, I have written, and this um, is one of them. So I'll do that after um, the reading of Matthew chapter 26 verses 1 through 13. And this right here is from the ESV um, English Standard Version. Uh, let's see. Let me get it together. And I hope that you are able to hear it clearly. Here it goes. Oh. Then the kingdom of heaven. Hold on, everybody. 26. Matthew 26. When Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and plotted together in order to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done it to prepare me for burial. Truly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Okay, that's 1 through 13. Um, This is the um, English Standard Version. Um, And I want to play it with another narrator here. So let's see, it's still the English Standard Version. Uh, For those of you who may... um, who didn't may have not heard it clearly. They had a little music going in the background. So I think this one here um, is a little bit more straightforward if you didn't hear the uh, first one here. And um, I don't think there's any um, music behind it. So let's, let's play this one. Uh, hold on a minute. Chapter 25. Everybody wants chapter twenty. Chapter twenty six. When Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, "You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified." Then the chief priest.
priest and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and plotted together in order to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done it to prepare me for burial. Truly I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Okay, okay, don't know how I got to 25, but um, um, I went on to 26, 26, Matthew 26, verses 1 through 13. And that was read by Max McLean, M-C-L-E-A-N. One was read by Max McLean, and one was read by Mar Marquise. Laughlin, M-A-R-Q-U-I-S. These were the two narrators. And, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, I think this last one here was Max McLean. Okay, so, wonderful, wonderful scriptures here. Um, Jesus is talking to his disciples. The Passover um is about to come so he's giving instructions um he's at dinner he's at dinner and so things are rolling if you read the rest um of what's going on um there's a lot of things going on okay he's at the house um of simon the leper the woman came with the alabaster box um, and so we know if you read down further, it talks about um, Judas, what happens when Judas, um, the beginnings of him betraying uh, Jesus. It talks about the Passover, um, getting that ready and everything. And um, it goes all the way to that. Um, he talks about Peter um, being in denial um, Jesus praying at um, Gethsemane, and um, it goes all the way down to, um, I think, in verse in the 50s, and how they arrest Jesus. Um, Jesus is before the council. No, it goes all the way. It's in the 60s. I'm scrolling down here. Um, and then Peter denies Jesus. It goes all the way down, down, the book of Matthew 26 goes all the way down to verse um, 75, 75. So you can read all of that, it's very, very, very wonderful. But right now we are just talking about um, the woman with the alabaster box. So the, the ointment that she has, and some scriptures say the perfume. But you see how this woman was so, so generous in what she did. Um, some people say, um, well, she didn't have a, a very clean um, past, some people say. You know, it's read throughout, you know, what different scholars say that she didn't have a really clean past. But. This right here is saying the, the wonderful, beautiful thing that this woman did when she came up to Jesus and she poured that ointment on Jesus' head. And the disciples, they got really, really indignant saying that that, that ointment was so very, very expensive and um, what he could have, what she could have done to help 
save the poor and in 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 um she could have sold that and got the money to help with the poor so jesus didn't agree and he told him leave the woman alone he said um you'll always have the poor but you won't always have him so jesus said that this woman she did a noble deed by pouring this ointment she was preparing preparing for him to be buried and so um he went on to say um so many words this woman is definitely going to be remembered throughout all of history and yes we see that to be true we see that to be true because we have the bible and 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 we have heard this story and if you haven't get your bibles and read it for yourself and um we see her name has been told her her deed has been told all throughout history throughout the bible throughout many many of of generations here that this story here is told that this woman here is known you know um we're here to do the work of the lord we're here to 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 walk the path that each one of us has that the lord has given us to walk you know so everything that we do is being recorded um up in heaven the lord watches at all times he's omnipresent and we do the things that come from our heart see we don't know god tells us what our reward is in heaven we don't know our reward what's going to be that we we do things not for a reward but we do things that come from the heart the lord knows our heart the almighty god lord god almighty he knows our heart you see and you see how wonderful and beautiful and in giving that Jesus is to to do this for this woman this woman came up with that very very expensive ointment and you see the 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 giving the loving the 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 the, the beautifulness of this right here of the Lord it's a beautiful wonderful wonderful thing so spread the gospel spread the word with love not because of any reward not because of anything we know things are being recorded we don't know we don't know whose life may be saved through through us through the the things that 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 we put out there the 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 words of the lord we don't know we don't know it may be a whole family it may be one person that's been out there it we don't know and see the lord is looking at all and the lord rewards according to your deeds according to to what you do and 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 your your works your things that you're gonna you do automatically it just it's automatic because it comes from your heart comes from your heart so i just want to encourage you to ask the lord to strengthen your heart to strengthen your heart is just to bring out the things that is already in you that you know is in you to have that love to have that compassion to have that care that discernment to go out and spread the gospel and do good and love how that love for each other love your neighbor as yourself love god with all your heart might might soul body everything love him and then love your neighbor as yourself So this is what we want to do and this story here is a very very good deed that this woman did out of the love of her heart for Jesus Christ. 
And out of the love that Jesus had, he said that this woman's name basically really will go down in history. Is what he's saying. And yes, 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 yes. It is and it has and it is. So, I'm not going to hold you long. This is it. I thank you for listening. And I'm going to read for you. Whew. Feel the wonderful spirit. I'm going to read for you. The poem that I wrote, it's called An Alabaster Box. And Math, this is summarizing Matthew 26, 1 through 13, this poem. And it reads, Now, the Passover was only two days away. Secretly, the chief priests, elders of the people and scribes, chatted about capturing Jesus and also... When he should die. When Jesus was in Bethany. At the house of Simon the leper. There came a woman. With an alabaster box. Filled with precious ointment. Being careful not to spill a drop. She poured it on Jesus' head. As he sat at the table. To break bread. The disciples became indignant as they saw the woman pouring out the ointment with persistence. They thought the ointment should be sold and the money given to the poor, which would help stamp out poverty, which knocked regularly on their doors. Jesus did not agree. He told them they would always have the poor, but soon his presence would be no more. Jesus thought the woman did a noble deed by pouring the ointment on his body, preparing him to be buried. For the good deed of this woman, Jesus said she shall be remembered Throughout all of history. The end. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is one of the poems that I have written originally by me. Originally by me. And um, it is not to be uh, copy. Is it's copyright? Not to be repeated. Not to be sold. Not to be um, all of that. Um, it is an original, um, so um, it is protected. So I just thank you. I just want to just put that out there. Um, so I just thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for listening to um, the poem. I love you, my brothers and my sisters. Um, This is short. Stay tuned um, for the show on Thursday. And um, continue to spread the word. Continue to do the word and works of the Lord. With your heart strengthened, with your heart filled with love. Um, Continue to uplift um, your brothers and your sisters in the Lord, and also uplift others as well, helping them to come into the kingdom of the Lord. Thank you, brothers and sisters, saints. I love you. Stay tuned for more. We're going to end now in prayer. Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, I come to you today thanking you, Father, for this show, thanking you uh, for your Holy Spirit, thanking you um, for working uh, in me um, to get the message out um, um, through me, through your Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father God. Um, I pray um, to bless everyone's heart here, to soften everyone's heart, to increase the love um, 
in their hearts that um, you have already put in them. I pray that um, everyone here um, listening listening on the line, I pray, Father God, that they get that, that blessing, that extra increase, Father God, again, that you have already put in them. And may they exercise that, that, that love and embrace each other, um, brothers and sisters, old and, and, and new into the kingdom, and go out and spread the word um, to the ones that have not heard your word. May we reach and reach and reach everyone to each and every corner of the earth, Father God, as the scriptures say. So I thank you. I thank you so much for this time right here. This fellowship right here. Thank you. Thank you, Almighty, Almighty Father God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Through Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 my brothers and my sisters. I love you. You know where to connect with me at. Um, and just any drop me a line or any, any, any way um, that you want to connect with me. Um, a messaging, email. Um, all my information is wherever you're listening to me at on that site. So I thank you so very much. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for more.